Hi guys! It is Sunday and the pups are now six and a half weeks old and I realized that I haven't posted a video in a while and you haven't had an update if you don't follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Um, but it's been incredibly busy um, as you can imagine because they have grown um, and they have uh, gained a lot of energy and we love it but Mojo? Hey! Okay, let's switch sides so Mojo can still be in frame. So yeah, uh, I have filmed a lot but I haven't had time to sit down and talk to you guys. Um, today it's not just about the puppies though, it's about their titer test. I think that's the way you pronounce it, we call it differently in the Netherlands but I'm, I'm sure it's, you'll know what I mean. Um, the pups had some blood drawn earlier this week when they were six weeks old and yeah, we basically checked if they needed their vaccines. The offices of Pure Nature uh, contacted us. Um, you might know them as NML Health uh, in Europe. They stock a lot of brands that I think Dutch and other European dog owners are familiar with. And they also distribute VaxiCheck in the Netherlands. VaxiCheck is one of those tighter test products. And one of those was kindly sent to our nearest vet's office which is also a holistic practice. So it's a company that really knows how to work with this title test and has used it a lot. Um, so we were very intrigued and we said, yes, let's do it. We can learn something from it. And so can the pups' breeder. Um, so last week we brought the pups over and uh, yeah, they all had to give a few drops of blood and it actually went a lot easier than I had expected. Um, so here is how that went. You'll listen to some music and see some cute stuff. At the end, the pups were super tired, as you saw. Um, they all fell asleep and we brought the crate back into the car and drove home. When we went home, the vet's assistant completed the test and discussed the results with a veterinarian. So let's start off telling you how vaccines work. Put very simply, 
A vaccine is something that your body will see as foreign, as something that is not supposed to be there. So should you get a vaccine when those antibodies are already in your body, it might be the case that this is not seen as a foreign body and it will not take. So the vaccine will not do what it's supposed to do. And because pups are living in a completely vaccinated mother and because they are drinking from her, there is a chance that they already have these antibodies, at least plenty for a while. And that means that if we were to uh, give them a vaccine at six weeks, it might not take and they might need another and another. So in the Netherlands, dogs will be vaccinated for parvo and distemper at six weeks. Then at nine and 12 weeks, they will get a big cocktail, which is again the parvo and the um, distemper. But they will also get the infectious hepatitis and the leptospirosis. Now these are things the dogs have to be protected from and vaccines are the way to go. But when do you have to vaccinate your puppy? So the answer is very different and you will see that even in this litter the answer varies. And it will differ from mother to mother what she will give the pups. Um, but it will also def change because of the dog's age, because of how often she was vaccinated. Now let's look at an example. We are looking at the scores for a colt, pedigree name Quinlan I Will. The first score you see pop up is for the hepatitis, so that's the liver disease, and it's score zero. Then we have the PAFO at three and the canine distemper at two. Now a score three to six for an adult dog would mean that it is completely protected and that you will not need to test or vaccinate for another three years. So were, were you doing this at 15 months or at two years, then the dog would basically get a signature that he doesn't have to have another check or another vaccine for three years. But here we saw a score zero. The score zero obviously means that there are no antibodies present and that at this time the dog can be vaccinated for that specific illness. We also had a score two and that's kind of at the border. For a pup this is safe to wait for three or four weeks to check whether or not it needs a vaccination and the PAVO score was the one that was at three and Basically, in this country, PAVO is the one that's leading. Um, canine distemper and infectious hepatitis do not really show in this country, and PAVO does. Um, and what it would mean at this moment if we were to vaccinate, we would have to use a full cocktail. And this is because the infectious hepatitis cannot be um, vaccinated against without the others present. So it's a full cocktail uh, concoction of pavo, distemper and hepatitis. Um, so this means that we were to vaccinate a dog who was already protected against pavo with extra pavo. And because these antibodies are present, the body of the dog will not recognize it as a foreign item and hence the vaccination might not take. Now at this point they're still young and this means that the score of three doesn't mean that we can sign it for three years and this is why in three weeks or four weeks around that time colds will have to be checked again and we can then see if PAV is low enough to uh, vaccinate for the full three illnesses and he has to go to the vet anyways because this is when he will get his leptospirosis and leptospirosis can be set separately or as a combination in a concoction of those three so basically um, what we will be doing is we will have a titer test done to see if all the scores are low and if it's the correct time to put all vaccines if not we will um, simply leave only have the leptospirosis done and then come back three weeks later um, have booster for the leptospirosis set and then check if he needs the vaccines at that point he probably will if not we can wait and check again in three weeks it seems like a lot of work but for the dog it's not that scary he will get just a couple of drops of blood taken um, it does cut cost a bit of money but look at it this way if you vaccinate at a point where your dog is still protected, you will not know for sure either whether your dog needed it or whether it is protected afterwards. So um, 
and that's kind of where the safety aspect comes in more I think um, just because you invest a lot of money at the start you will know for sure that your dog is protected and if you have it tested uh, I think maybe you can even test it at 15 weeks to know for sure that it doesn't ha need a vaccine for the next three years or maybe you will do this at one year I'm not sure um, but also in this case um, if we were to give the concoction now and he wouldn't have needed the pavo the pavo doesn't take then in three weeks time he will need a booster which he might not have needed if we were to wait until the right time so I do not want to vaccinate him until the time is right and that sounds cheesy but yeah that's kind of how we want to go about it and that's what this vaccine checking title testing is made for now when Venus is four years old, it's been three years since she had the full concoction and for Mojo that will be when she is seven years old. So not in 2021 but in 2022 I will have both of them checked to see if they need a vaccine and the chances are that they will not and that all I need to do is a small blood test to see if they require anything. So I'm keeping the chemicals away for the, from their body just to have a signature saying that, yep, you're fine, you can come back in three years. They will get the rabies shots every three years and on a yearly basis, they will be vaccinated for leptospirosis. But the other three, I will be checking. On Tuesday, there will be another press conference and we will figure out whether or not we will be going into lockdown. Um, and that's the same day in which in the afternoon the pups will be getting chipped by the Dutch Kennel Club. And um, this is just before the press conference. And this means that the breeder will be picking up four of the six puppies because the ch chances are that we won't be allowed to travel um, and that we will be stuck with puppies who are not safe to keep in a, in a kennel, uh, six combined. So he will be bringing them home and they will stay together as a litter of four um, and get interactions with him until they go to their new homes, three of them. Um, and Colt will be staying here. Uh, we will figure out if we keep, them, keep him or not. Um, and puppy number six is going to a friend of ours and we are going in the, into that area anyway so hoping that it's all fine she can either pick her up or we can bring her there but just to be safe the other four are leaving on Tuesday uh, simply because we don't know what the rules will be but chances are there will be a lockdown again now we would love to thank Punatur for sending us many products but especially for sponsoring the vaccine check um, I will put a lot of links in the description where you can find all the information about title testing, about the product that we use and about the company behind it and all of the brands that they own um, that we use at home but also that they sent many products of to use for the puppies and to bring to their new owners. So yeah, we're very thankful for that. So thanks again. We love it. And we'll be back next week with a day in the life of a litter of six-week-old puppies. See you then. Bye-bye.